Today, we are learning new information about a deadly stabbing that happened outside of Neiman Marcus in the Galleria. It's a story we brought you as breaking news at 10 last night. Now we've learned this man, Andre Roy, has been charged with capital murder in that crime. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta has been working all day on the story. So, Anusha, what do we know about the woman killed? Well, Lauren, the victim has been identified in court documents as 61 year old Franklin Medina. Police think he may have been waiting at a bus stop here at Post Oak in Westheimer near Neiman Marcus when they say Andre Roy tried to rob him and then stabbed him again and again with a knife. It was business as usual at the Galleria Mall on Friday. The morning after, an area just outside one of its high end retailers became the center of a murder investigation. I came out and I saw this guy on the floor. Edith Arazzo had just left the Galleria Mall as it was closing on Thursday night. She walked outside to a crime scene near Neiman Marcus, where a 61 year old man named Franklin Medina had been stabbed on the sidewalk. By a metro bus stop. There was blood all around him, and he was just there laying down with his shirt open. Edith shot video on her cell phone of the man police say stabbed Medina to death. At first, he was screaming, like, Why are you, do are you doing this to me to the cops? And then um, they just arrested him, and he was just there sitting down. Homicide detectives are accusing 35 year old Andre Roy of trying to rob Franklin Medina, but then stabbing him repeatedly. Police tell us a witness tackled Andre Roy and held him down until officers got there. That's when they say they discovered the victim's body. There was a cop on top of him doing chest pumps, I guess, you know, trying to bring him back. Franklin Medina died later that night at the hospital. Police threw Andre Roy in jail. It just makes you think, what if that was me? What if I was the one getting robbed? And Andre Roy is in jail on no bond. He has a lengthy criminal history dating back to the year 2000. We'll have more for you on that coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in the Galleria, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.